Maggie. This movie has been touted as Arnold Schwarzenegger's first real foray into serious acting, and it's a zombie film. But let's rewind a second. So when Arnold Schwarzenegger came back into acting after a kind of long hiatus, his films so far haven't been particularly well both critically or financially we've had things that weren't too bad like the last stand in regards to kind of its word of mouth but then we've, it didn't ever did very well at the box office and we've had absolute duds like sabotage so he's kind of changing course a bit and decided to go into a little bit more of a dramatic role and he's gone on record saying he's he's like particularly proud of this film so what's the film about so let me give you a little bit of setup here it actually kind of takes place Almost after the uh, kind of tail end of a, of a zombie, uh, not exactly apocalypse, but a zombie outbreak, or at least a uh, zombie-like virus. And um, the world that it sets up here has had this kind of this sort of zombie, uh, we're going to call them zombies, but they never refer to them as zombies in the movie. But this kind of uh, epidemic, which essentially makes people turn into these kind of like zombie-like uh, cannibals and, and, and the like. But... Um, Essentially, they've kind of got a somewhat of a handle of it, and uh, essentially, people now who are in infected are essentially uh, rounded up and put into these kind of like camps where they are uh, essentially executed at some point before they kind of get too uh, too infectious because they kind of as they sort of the infection progresses, they kind of lose control. But at the beginning of the infection, they are you know they are kind of more or less the same, uh, but after a, a number of weeks, essentially they start to kind of lose control and sort of become more animalistic and obviously more dangerous. So the focus here is uh, is really Arnold Schwarzenegger's kind of relationship with his daughter, played by Abigail Breslin, who has actually, has, this is her second foray into the zombie film, she was in Zombieland. And uh, basically he's kind of seeking her out to try and kind of keep her safe after she's been infected with this kind of virus and sort of takes, takes her home to his kind of rural sort of house where he lives with uh, his kind of his new wife or somewhat new wife uh, played by Jolie Richardson and really it's about the kind of the bond between the, the family really it's, it's less of a zombie film more of a a kind of a family dynamic and you can you can somewhat say the the zombie virus is really a metaphor for any kind of terminal disease like cancer and stuff and obviously how it affects uh, obviously the people around them and the family and, and, and things like that so you know there are some kind of uh, deeper themes at work here so don't be disappointed though there is a fair amount of uh, you know effects and kind of a zombie makeup here uh, there's not i wouldn't say there's a lot of action there are there are a couple of um i guess you call them zombie attacks but really don't go into this movie expecting a kind of full-on zombie horror film this is a drama with, with just the sort of trappings of a, a zombie movie really and really looks at the kind of um, the the effect that this might have on on the people that maybe the that it leaves behind. So it's certainly a, a different take on the zombie genre. It's, it's been sort of tried and tested, and we've seen so many permeations of, of this kind of movie. It's, it is kind of nice to see it. So uh, let's go let's go through the good parts, shall we? So the the good parts. Uh, let's talk about the stars first of all, because this is, I think, going to be the the, the the main question here. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, he he isn't in this movie as much as you think. This is more Abigail Breslin's movie than it is Arnold's. I mean, he's he's definitely got the second most amount of screen time, but he isn't the star, and the the story isn't really about him. He's just kind of the 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 the, the main supporting character, I suppose you would say. It's more about Abigail Breslin's character and how is she. Is sort of deteriorating, and we we kind of see the the effects of, of her condition on the people around her. Not just you know her family, but we're also talking about some of her friends. Uh, there's a kind of a little bit of a sort of subplot with a kind of uh, a young lad who's also infected, and kind of a little bit of a romantic subplot. But it really there's not a lot of, of screen time on that. But going back to Arnold, he does a pretty good job here. It is definitely his kind of his best acting. Uh, arguably with Predator, I still think he did a pretty good job with Predator, but that was more down his kind of wheelhouse. But you know, he does a good job. He he has a good, uh, uh, you know, a relationship and a believable relationship uh, with his daughter. So I think he plays that sort of very well. He, he plays this role very humble. And Abigail Breslin is Oscar nominated, so she does you know a, a good and effective a, a effective job here. Uh, Jolie Richardson. 
Uh, I, I felt her ac accent was slipping a little bit sometimes. She's kind of got this, I mean, she's British. She's got this uh, kind of American accent that I felt was a little bit all over the place. But she's she is, you know, still a fairly good actress. But you know, I kind of found her accent a little bit distracting. So, you know, acting-wise, I don't really have any, any real complaints. In regards to the kind of the the makeup and stuff, I thought it was quite effective. It's, you know, it's... It acts more like a, a virus, so you kind of see the veins of blackening and things like that. So it kind of looks quite creepy. And on the subject of creepy, there are a couple of scenes here that are, are quite disturbing. One of my, my favourite scenes is where Arnold sort of stumbles across these two other people who are p f further along in the, the zombie virus. And it's quite a chilling scene, I have to say. However, one of the issues I do have with this is it's obviously kind of has an art film sort of style to it and there's lots of shots here that are kind of your, your typical kind of arty shots if you know what I mean, your sort of Terry, uh, Terrence Malick sort of style uh, camera work kind of shots of uh, you know the backgrounds and things like that, out, things that are slightly out of, out of focus which I found um, I don't know, it just seems a little bit of padding to me to be quite honest. The story here is, is very slight there, there isn't a lot of, of plot here. It really is just a character study. So, again, don't be thinking, you know, you're going to go into this with a, the, the, the real kind of complex story because it, it really isn't. The story is, is fairly basic and it's more of just uh, what happens to the, the people who deal with this situation. There's not a, you know, a plot so much to say, really. It's just the kind of the reactions of people around this particular virus. So... And let me say this. Well, this is not really a spoiler, but it probably ends how you think it's going to end. Uh, so, you know, it, I guess it can go, what I'd say it goes hand in hand for that. I did find it a little slow. Uh, at times, it kind of plods along. And I do feel that there, there are some scenes that are kind of just there to, uh, as filler uh, and kind of just maybe go on a little bit sort of too long. And it's, you know, it's a, it could have been um, maybe a little bit more to it to a certain degree. But it's obviously not going to be for everyone if you're interested in your sort of typical kind of zombie films. But I found it an interesting film. And, you know, the kind of the performances, even Arnie's kind of kept, still kept me engaged. Uh, it's not, you know, like I said, this is not going to be for your sort of typical zombie f film fan. Uh, and again, it might not be because of the sort of genre elements. It may not be... Uh, the same kind of people who are going to watch Fault in Our Stars, for example, which is obviously dealt with a, a sort of terminal disease. So it's going to kind of fall somewhere in the middle there if you kind of like both of those sort of style films, but not if you're either one extreme or the other, if, you, if it, that makes sense. So overall, I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. It is not a horror film as such. It's more of a um, drama with, with sort of horror tinges to it, if that makes sense. Anyway, so uh, what did you think of it? Have you seen it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.